Hello friends and welcome back to my Roman campaign for the House of Julia. I am Atogalius Magnus. Now, unfortunately, this is not there's not much left here due to attrition and whatnot for me to fight. I could, and in fact I probably will. I'll use this weaker force to fight them just because just because I promised you a fight. I was actually thinking about just uh, uh, auto resolving it, but nah, we'll fight it out. With just a weaker my weakened army, give them some sort of a chance. We still outnumber them two to one, but yeah, we'll just have some fun. We will destroy some very, very weakened units, and it'll be glorious. So, <clears throat> it appears, I was hoping to show this to you actually uh, earlier, hopefully, actually, I was, I actually thought for some reason that the Atrobartes had one more turn before they came out and fought, uh, to fight me. Um, and I was going to actually, after I ended the turn that I w am ending right now. I'm going to show you what was happening. It appears as though we're going to have trouble with the boy very soon. They are beating up on the Lugi, the Lugi, and that's perfectly fine with me. It's just they have been kind of pressuring me to do things, and I'm just not, just not that interested in doing stuff with them. They broke, they broke their agreement with me, man. I didn't turn my back on them, so tensions are running high. I may actually leave Britannia for a while, leave it alone, leave them to their own devices. And focus my attention on the boy. But we shall see what what, what occurs here. All right, this army. Why is it so weird? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All well, because of the different sizes. Uh -huh, okay. Well, let's see. What shall we do here? I really would like to get my Balearic slingers and whatnot into the into the fray. But they they're not really interested in being in the fray at this point. So, let's see, you are getting four. I put all of my infantry in a double line. Auto formation attack. I should put you in a double line for now. A double Aggies, that's what it was, double Aggies. Okay, and we'll have two groups of Cav. Mark Hacko, okay. I'm actually gonna make this battle group seven and battle group number eight because I'm gonna end up breaking my legionaries into different, at least front line and second line, legionary, okay. All right, what shall we do? They're probably going to sit on top of that hill. So, I mean, the smart thing to do would, would just be to use my field artillery to just pummel them, force them to come off the hill. And e even though, I mean, I was hoping to get some sort of a decent battle here, uh, that's just, I think, not going to be the case. It's going to be me just, it's really, I'm kind of torn here because I would like to talk tactics, but again, They've lost so much already due to attrition that it really, there's not really much of a battle here. Of course, there is more of a battle here than what there would be if I used both armies, but again, I do believe I'm talking out of my asshole. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that and just do, I'm going to fight this battle how I would fight this if, I mean, they had two full stacks or whatever instead of just... Garbage. Remaining garbage. You are group number five. You are group number six. All right. And that is how I'm going to... Well, I could actually put my missile units on my left. They're not going to be that important unless I can't get them to budge off the hill. So... All right. Let's just, let's just, let's just have at it here. You will be using the flaming shot flammable round just because I would like to watch Enemy what they're doing. I mean, watch what my ballistas are firing. I kind of like tracer fire for rifle fire or machine gun fire at night. Okay, so I like to be able to trace where their where their where their rounds are falling and, and whatnot. So they're firing already. Let's just hammer on a side here. We are going to likely going to tear them apart and it should be not much of a problem although you have some rather rather weakened units especially units of cavalry so we're just going to pound on them for a while force them to come towards us and then beat them down so we are just pummeling them with ballista the romans would have done this anyway so whatever that's, that's the most cost effective way of destroying pools so take my infantry and my missile units and move them up just to defend my equipment here 
Uh, you do not need to run at this point. They are still well out of range. My field artillery is doing a number on them. Do not think they're going to get... But anyway, let's have you run now. And you are going to start firing back here. Let's stop and take a look at what's happening here. Stop. Okay, they are... Yeah, basically this is already over because I probably will not even need to use my second line at this point. I'm going to take you gentlemen out. I'm going to make you stop. Okay. I want my Peltasts to fire on the flank here just to hopefully beat up their Spear Brothers. Okay. Second line, I think you could probably walk. I don't think you have to run. I'm not too concerned about you right now. You're doing okay. It's going to be okay. And let's get back into... Your brothers are throwing shit. You go here. There's cohort. You go here. You can go here. Throw Pila. You go here. And you take the flank. Huh. They do have some cap. Well, that's lovely. Okay. Well, gentlemen. You come over here and protect my Peltasts. Well, they do have, they have lots of cavalry. Wow, that's impressive. You could... Well, they're actually going to charge into my infantry. So, take you and hit this cav. They're attacking my Peltas, but that should be okay. My Auxiliary Cavalry are already stuck in there on my left, so... We're just beating them down, having some fun. This group of Cavalry is getting beaten up. Let's fire my Scorpion at them, just so they don't cause me too much trouble. Meanwhile, Unit Number 7, or Battle Group 7, I'm going to bring you over here to fight their Cav. They are foolish. Okay, you guys look so as though they're breaking through here. So I'm going to send two groups of Legionaries in just to shore up my center. Cav, you can slam into these fools. Slam into here. Okay, we are flanking them. That group of cavalry is gone. My lovely Peltast, you can pull back. Their reinforcements are coming, so I will have you. You cannot. Okay, I want you to stop. You're probably causing more friendly fire than anything. Okay. Cavalry should be winning relatively easily, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, you're cleaning up their cav here. Bring my cav up to the top of the hill. If they have any units that we may be able to pick off before the rest of their forces get here. It appears as though they have some skirmisher units here. Mercenary Celtic skirmishers. Two groups of those. And... It looks like they're going to try and hit me in my rear, or hit my units in the rear as I'm, out fl as I'm flanking them. So I'm going to bring legionaries up here just to kind of get in the way. You've basically won. I'm going to get you involved here in the fray. Gav, I don't have much of you left, so I'm not too really, really too worried. They're breaking here, so let's go crush them there. Okay, they're running away. Legionaries, you guys are all screwed up. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Let's just charge right in over here. Get stuck in. You can go through that gap, crush some fools. You can come around the side here. Are you fighting? You are fighting. Okay. You're get, you're stuck in, of course. Okay, well that's terrible, but. Okay, you're coming here. Legio, Legions, first cohort. Charge in. You're going to get stuck in melee too. Of course you are. Because you're dumb like that. Okay, you just come on, fight through this. You actually, I want to hit these fools in the rear. Cav is going to take it in the shorts here from these fools. So you hit them now. They're running through. They're letting you get behind them. That's weird. Okay, well then we'll just catch them in the rear. Let's hit these Celtic youths. Youths. What's a youth? Okay, we'll be this way. What is this? Okay, let's get my cab out of here then, because they're going to get torn up. I do not want to lose my cab at this point. I mean, I really ra would rather not lose any units. Let us have you fire at these foolish bastards. They have veteran legion legionaries. I'm going to pull you here just to intercept their their um, oath sword in case they do get through. I'm going to pummel them a couple of times with my... Uh, what's it called again? Mountain not Mountain Death. Field Artillery. Kill these fools. They're running away. Kill him. Kill as many as possible. You can stop. Yeah, I like that. That's a good attitude. Kill, kill, kill. They're already breaking, shattering, and whatnot. So let's see. Pila throw. Do you have Pila? You do have Pila? Oh, I missed it. Crap. We're going to slam into him and kill them all. Hopefully. Maybe. We have one over here. Let's get this group of cavalry out of here. And let's hit their Othorn in the rear. The rest of my infantry can pull back. I don't think they have any more. I think they have only that group of Oathsworn left, right? 
I hope. Can you go and kill some more of these damn fools? You can go there. You can go over here. Let's watch a rear charge on these Oathsworn, who look like they're doing a number against my veteran legionaries. Oathsworn are tough. You guys are almost positioned in the back. Let's hit them. Let's watch. Chargey, chargey. Boom skis. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. A turn. Don't just move. Turn. Ah. Let's cycle charge you out and do it again. What do they have left? They can't have that many left. They still have 100 left. Well, that's interesting. Okay, move you back. This time, hopefully. Sorry, that was bad camera work. Let's hit him one more time. Charge in. Oh, Sworn, you guys are screwed. Do you charge in quickly? Oh, they're broken now. Okay. Continue. Let's cut them down. Oh, yeah. I want to see Oath Sworn die. Can you hear the Oath Sworn die? Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway. Well, at least I was amused by that. Anyway, okay. Um, Yeah, I guess that's all we need to do because this is a settlement battle. Right? Yeah, okay. Quit battle. End battle. Oh, wait, no. It's not a settlement battle. God damn it. They sallied forth. Or whatever. We lost 160. We killed 1,600. Okay. They have roughly... Well, a little bit less than 200 left. They have evidently, what, 198 left? No, 192 left. I think. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We beat them, and it was pretty easy, and we didn't lose that many men, and I think, I'm guessing we actually lost more Peltasts than anything. Because they were hit by that group of cavalry. The cavalry... That's from the... Huh? Second group had cav? Really? Okay, I thought the first group had cav. That cavalry must have been... Must have been moving. Wow. Okay. So anyway, post-battle analysis, yeah, not too tough. We were able to break up their ranks with my uh, field artillery and defeat their first wave decisively with my first line legionaries, even though there were a couple of places where my legionaries were a bit stretched a bit thin. Uh, then second line basically came in and supported. Once we won on the flank, on the left flank, we were able to get some infantry back and intercept the second group coming through. And we hit them with our cav, and it was over. So, not not a big deal. Again, not much, not much really to talk about tactically. I was hoping that they would not lose so much due to attrition, but they did. It is what it is, and it ended how it did. So anyway, I did get a battle in. You cannot say I did not get a battle in. On the normal circumstances, I would have just auto resolved, but these are abnormal times. Stab to face, stab to throat, whatever. Stab to gullet. Die. And we have no new settlements. Let's kill them all. Ready for further orders. We did not take that settlement yet. Yeah, that's right. Shit. That's all right. We will. We, we shall take it. They do have a small army kind of back in the woods over in this general area down here. So, oh, fucking poisoning me again. Dumnani. Will you not give our people a little gold? We have much. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that just because, hey, I mean, I'm not going to go to Britannia just yet. Ebdani, moderates, are we trading with you? We are. Okay, let's do that. That's fine. At least we'll be able to secure our north for a while as we begin to probably move. Well, we'll take out the, the Nemnites next, and then and then we'll probably have to move into Germania. And we'll probably have to take out the Nervi, and then via that direction, we'll have to start taking out the Boi. We will take out the Lugis. Take out the Lugis. All right. You freaking politicking bastards. You injured my guy again. Sons of bitches. Okay. What haveth you? Nothing. What haveth you? Nothing. What haveth you? Nothing. What haveth you? Okay, and you. Point occupation. No, okay, well, whatever. We'll use it. We shall. I need Julia. Oh, they're all Julia. Junia. Julia. Cornelia. Okay, well, well, we'll 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 use this handsome gent. All right, Metokena. Should we subjugate it? No. Let us raise it. Raise it. We Could have looted it, but eh, who cares? Huh? Okay. What? Why? Did, what? 
Why did you take it? What? What should you have taken it? What the? What the hell? Okay. What the hell? Okay, let's take e you. Yeah, I would like to. But okay, a little bit confused here. But okay, back here, this way, like this, over like that, down like that. I'm just being, I'm just being stupid now. Okay, this way, and what shall we put here? We could recruit legionaries. Although we have plenty of places to recruit people now. I don't not not too concerned about that. Let us give you. Do we want to give you an aqueduct? Oh, what's your food like? Ah, oh, great, lovely. So much food, so little time. Or we could make money. Aqueduct, money. Aqueduct, or money. Aqueduct, or money. Let's do money. Okay, yeah, that's a good choice. I like money. Okay. Ac Akinisa? Akinisa. Why? Akinisa. Okay. Right, let's move you this way. You already have someone in there protecting you or whatever. So let's move you this way. You're a champion. You must be badass. Female champion? I mean, not that I'm misogynistic or anything, but, but during this time, you typically would not have many female champions. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you would, I suppose, if you were Gallic but, or Gallic or whatever, but. If you down south, I would like to check out kind of what these factions have down here that is potential potentially give will give me trouble. Potentially give me trouble. Let's see here. You, you're raiding just because you can. You don't need to move though. I don't understand why you're moving. You can just stay there. You also do not have to move. You can just stay there. Thank you. Veneria. Veneria. Chlamydia. No. Concordialis. You're here, and you cannot move, because some bastard is messing with you. Ah, oh, I hate you. What is this? Soldier. Should I make you cunning? Cunning. Strategist. What, is, what does soldier do? Come on. Zeal. Charge bonus. Marine. Semper Fi, baby. Okay, we'll give you that. You can be cunning. You are also... What? Tricks. You cannot move either. Ah, uh, because you fight that you fought that battle. Okay. Well, which army cannot move? You? Why are you so beat? What? I'm confused. Oh, this was that army. Okay, I see. This was that army. And this army was the one that was standing outside. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, alright, my bad. Okay. It can be confusing sometimes to be me. Okay. Let's go to diplomacy here. Can we declare war on the Namnitis without any stupid Damn public or not public orders, diplomatic um, malices, not bonuses. Malices, let's see. Can I declare war on you? Yeah, I can do it. And I'm gonna do it. Because fuck you. Yes, because fuck you. Ah, war. Damn. Yeah, my screams. My screams. Because I'm a screamer. I'm gonna destroy you. That's my scream. Ice cream for ice cream. Ooh, nice. This is going to be cool. Ooh, they have an onager. They have an onager. They have some Osworn. They have some heavy horse. Some Gallic horse. They have more Gallic light horse. Yeah, all right. Let's do this up. I may split this between two episodes, but because we're already at, we're almost at 20 minutes here. But let's do this. I'm going to do it just for fun. Because I can. Yes, I'm fighting them on the field. Hopefully, we'll get. Oh, this is my this is my badass army. This is Antiqua. That's the this is the one that held out for so long at uh, where the hell was that? Trevororum, I think. That defense, that long defense battle, defensive battle that I had, settlement defense. This is going to be fun. Hopefully, I will not fuck it up. Katuboda, Katubodua's flight. Katubodua's flight. Okay, that's what I'm fighting. Antigua versus Catubodua's flight. Flight? I don't think flight is a very good name for an army. I mean, usually that's what they call it when you run away. They were fleeing. They were in flight. Whatever. Wait. I don't want fog. I don't want rain. I want dry. Rain again. God damn it. And fog. Okay, well, I suppose we have fog then. Ah, uh, you just want to weaken me. 
weaken my artillery's ability to cause damage. Sons of bitches. Okay. All right. Well, let's take my general. You will again be battle group number one. Now, what shall I do? I think I'm going to try to, if I can, basically I'm probably going to try and just pepper and destroy all their onagers first. Once I do that, hopefully I can get at least somewhat semi-stuck in before um, their armies are able to converge. Hopefully. Okay, let's take you. You are better group number four. I want two groups of cav on my right. So you'll be better group number five. And I'm going to put you over on my right. Huh? You will be battle group number six. Now my general will kind of be the extra cavalry unit on my left, but they do have spears over here, so I probably will leave it kind of like this. Basically, I'm going to pull them back. Probably put my infantry, or put my field artillery in front of my infantry as I typically do, as well as my missile units. Hopefully, my ballista will be able to target their onagers. So what I'm going to be able to do is, what I'm going to want to do is take all of my infantry, take you out of formation attack, back you up. You're already in a double Aki, so I don't need to change that up at all. Okay, I'm going to put my... Let's see, let's put you into battle group. Put all of you in a battle group here. You're battle group number seven. Uh, seven. And battle group number eight. Lovely. Okay, now let's take you. I'm going to put you... I'm going to put my missile units, because they have a lot of cavalry. I'm going to put my missile units actually in front of my field artillery and the only reason that that is is that the only reason why that is is because is that um my field artillery are not as easy to replace as my mercenaries or whatever the i think these are probably mercenaries right yeah they're mercenaries mercenaries are easy to replace i don't care i would rather keep you know keep my ballista obviously my ballista and my scorpion so let's put you like that hopefully you'll be able to target i'm gonna slide you over just a tad though so you can target those onagers but they're they're onagers better Scorpion, you will just take pot shots over on my right center, center right. General, General I'm going to have you in the back, but more probably towards, yeah, a little bit towards the left, just in case I run into any sort of cavalry problem on my left. Although, I'm actually more concerned. I mean, I have a hoplites over there. Ah, it doesn't really matter. You're, you're mobile. You're a, you're a cavalry unit. You can move around the battlefield. Pull you back behind my spears. And this group, uh, this side here would appear to be more vulnerable to cavalry charge, but they're also more mobile. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle. Hopefully, I'll be able to destroy their onagers ASAP. Let's get stuck in. They cannot see my, they cannot see, they cannot see my horses. That's interesting. I don't know why. Why would that be? Uh -huh. I'm going to put you on flammable rounds here, flammable shot or whatever, just so you can hopefully burn these fools. They're sending cavalry out. What kind of cav is this? Gallic light horse. They are coming towards me. Well, that's interesting. I would have expected them to not come towards me right away, but Gallic light horse. I don't really care about you so much. I'd rather hit their onagers. What exactly in the fuck are you doing? What in blazes, man? What is this? Levy Freeman. Levy Freeman. Levy Freeman. Mercenary Gallic Warriors. Gallic Mercenaries. Let us have you stop for now. Actually, you... Yeah, it causes you some damage. Eh, let's beat him up for a little bit until their onagers get into view here. Oh, this is Noble Horse. Ah, I'd much rather hit Noble Horse. Or Onager. Not yet in order. Not yet in range. Sorry, not, not order. Not in range. What is happening on my right? They appear to be sending some cab out to my right. So can we hit them with a scorpion? Not yet. Perfectly okay. Not too concerned about that right now. I do have cavalry over there. We'll be able to, I'm more concerned about their noble cab. Hopefully we will be able to take some take them down. Okay, hit hit these onagers now. We've hit their noble cab, that'll weaken them. Okay, and I'm going to actually probably take my first line of infantry. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they're coming in on my left. Holy shit. Okay. Let's pause and stop and pause and stop and take a look here. They're coming in on my left. I didn't even realize that until now. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to take my, sec my second line and 
moves in more towards the center of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cav. The only reason why I'm pausing is because A, I can, and B, I'm going to move my men back here just so we can kind of react, and also so I can kind of talk about what it is that they're doing. So I'm going to, it appears as though they're, either this is going to be a diversionary force, or they're actually going to join this force, and kind of be that force's cavalry unit to cover them. So what I'm going to do is bring my calf back, I'm going to leave my spears in the center and just turn them. And my second line, I'm actually going to pull you back at kind of an angle here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Two groups of veteran legionaries. I'm going to move you like this. Kind of like this, just so you kind of overlap. I know it's going to look kind of strange, but they're going to overlap, and they're basically going to have to be protecting my left. General, I'm going to have to pull you back more towards my center. They appear to be, yeah, they're coming out after me here. Where are you firing at? You're firing at what? You're firing at Levy Freeman? Can you fire here? I'd much rather that you hit that light horse. Okay, and right now everything else is doing okay. I'm going to send my first line up, actually. Which means that I'm going to bring my missile units up just a hair. Okay. Which means I'm going to have to let's see. Oh, let's, let's check this out again. Yeah, that's going to bring everything kind of back out of wacky. I should have done that first. So basically, instead of doing that, I'm going to bring. You're going to be where you are, actually. I'm going to be your own unit. I'm going to make you unit nine now. Nine. Battle group number nine. Okay. I want you to stay kind of in line with these lovely gentlemen. You will kind of hold that flank for this uh, line. Okay, you're going to hold it here, okay? So make sure they don't get hit by that cab, okay? Second line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you in this general area, this general direction, this general area, okay? And hold like this. Okay, and now cavalry, I have you back. Yeah, actually, you're, that's a pretty good position for you where I have you. And general... You are going to go where? You're going to pull back. I don't think you need to pull back that far. It's probably going to... Well, I don't want to leave. Ah, no. No, 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 no. That was a mistake. Okay. Once again, move you like this. Just like this. Okay, why are you so far forward? Isn't my first... First line is where? Okay, no, I don't want you that far forward. What the fuck? Did I not put you here? I thought I put you here. Okay, yeah, that's how I want you, right like that. Okay, they'll protect my flank against the cavalry. And, yeah, general. Now, this is where I wanted to put you, right in here, because you're going to have to kind of hold the line there, and hopefully there'll probably be some units that are in some trouble. Let's go in slow motion and watch what's occurring here now. We have two groups of horse against the one. We should be able to win, but I would like to have them picked apart a little bit here by my scorpion, if, if possible. Okay, we're going to get hit hard on our left. Wow. We lose some mercenaries, likely. Okay, what is this? We have discovered the enemy's yeah, we discovered units. the enemy's hidden units. Whatever. We've got cavalry coming around here. We've got infantry running. I don't care. I want to take out their onagers. Their cavalry is coming after mine, it appears, or after my infantry. So let's take my cav now, and boom. Scorpion, you're still moving. I don't want you to move. I want you to start shooting shit. Fire. 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 Yeah, this should be fun. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Javelins. Oof. Well, we have numerical superiority, so we should win over there, which will basically leave their left flank open to me to for me to attack. They've got some shit flying in here, so let's get our spears stuck in, and let's get our... Ah, where's that group of horse here? You guys can just fly right in here and have some fun. We're going to get hit with Cav right here. Okay. Getting their onagers. Hopefully we're destroying them, I hope. Should be. Destroyed a couple. I wish we would destroy even more. Destroy even more, not destroy. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, we're going to be pressed pretty hard in our... Right here, in this uh, general area. So, okay. You are going to have to hold the center. So let's send you down here. This general area here. You are going to be hit hard probably here. Have to hit hard there. Okay. And you... Looks like you're going to have to... You're probably going to have to form a second line because actually it appears as though we have the flank. They're giving us the flank. But I'm guessing I'm going to have some units that are going to be in a bit of, bit of, a, bit of a bind. They're going to be stretched to the limit here. So as, let's pull back our missile units. We have a group of cav fighting their cav and we also have our hoplite stuck in. And the big problem that we have right now is that we may get stuck on the hop. What I mean by that is we have infantry coming in. They should be running and they should be running quickly but it looks like we're going to be kind of 
too spread out here, too very vulnerable on our left, which is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to send in this group of legionaries over here. Okay, you're going to have to go there. You are going to also have to go here. You're going there, you're going here. Now that cavalry is going to hit that legionary group pretty hard. And now we're going to hit these fools. And I'm going to hang back. I'm going to hang back because it looks like they're going to try and hit me on my left hard. And hopefully I can hold this here and then basically we'll just be able to swing in. Okay, let's stop and take a look. The reason why I'm stopping here, I'm not going to do any more adjusting. I'm just going to take a look here. What I'm planning on doing... Eh, come on, come on. Can you, what's wrong with my camera today? I don't understand. Okay, we're holding here. What we want to do is beat this cavalry. It's going to take away their mobility. Okay, I'm going to take another group of legionaries, that one that I have right here, and slam them into this cav. Okay, this group will probably protect this group's flank, so I'll probably send them up in this general region here and hold and fight. While these three groups, and hopefully after this cavalry wins, as well as my mercenary hoplites, I'll probably just keep them in this position. They're going to be attacking my left, it appears. So I will use these groups then on a long line to basically hit all of these units in the flank as they approach. And hopefully that will be enough. We should be able to hold and win on our right. By that time, we'll be able to envelop them then. They'll be stuck in here. This will be my holding force, basically, after we destroy some units. And then all of these units that are fighting on my first line, from my first line, will probably swing around like this, and we'll just get them in a vice and pincer them to death. Hopefully. That's what, it's, that's what I'm looking at right now. But, friends, I'm going to wait until the next episode to conclude this battle. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And once again, I am Autogalius Magnus, and I am signing out.